is I will give you guys a custom seed um, so that you can play along as well if you want to. So, what should we go with? Let's go with hardcore. No, I need something, something catchy, something that plays on the word ASMR.
do you not feel comfortable here? Oh god, we really are out in the open, aren't we? Right, let's make... Have I just made 12 buttons, seriously? In the, in the heat? Oh, uh, that's not what I want, I want the other ones. What am I doing? Alright, well... <laughs> we have to make it a fence gate. Fence. Purely out of fence gates. Oh, we only need four of them. Oh, well... Monkey Dory. Wow, yeah, I've been playing this game. For the thick end of it. still do not know how to make fences over fence gates. We're going to have to just make a very rudimentary Oh, yeah. 
agree perhaps that is just a little too ambitious and we should set our bar a little lower um, I feel like it's a bit overdone going for the ender dragon as the aim although that would probably make sense I admit that I play Minecraft really slowly and that's not just because I'm just inherently relaxed that already come back here that 
might be mistaken, but I mean, is Savannah really only a biome IRL that you see in like, uh, like Central and North Central Africa? I might be wrong in saying that, or like, is that is that right, or is that just massively ignorant? Because then I'd expect. is 
swans have been replaced with mangroves, or if it's just a different type of swamp now. I think the wood type looks a lot different. It's like a, it looks like, um, like a, it's got a very red colour here. That's just oak. Right, I think we are a bit unlucky here then maybe. Well, that is a shame. Maybe, maybe they split. Maybe you have like, oh my god, this guy, Usain Bolt Cow. That's a, that's a catchy name for him. <laughs> right, I, I expect then we're going to have to find a totally different biome. I mean, this is a pretty big one. This is pretty big. Maybe they kind of merge. so sure how useful that 
that is. Is it that useful? I am not so sure. I am not so sure. Let's roll. Well, do want. We're very disorganized and we need some space anyway. So we may as well fill it up. For now. I'll bring a couple of things here. Food.
way. Look at this. Oh, cool. I didn't know you did this. If you press inventory while you're in the boat, you, you, you look at everything that's in the boat as well. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little feature. Big fan. Big, big fan. So, worth bearing in mind, actually, that all of the snapshot features that I am showing will likely be very, well, maybe not very, but at least somewhat different in the official release. The 1.9 official release. So, and stuff will uh, uh, potentially be uh, solved or at least uh, uh, at least improved so worth bearing in mind that we found another village another village to loot another village to uh, who wish we'd probably never been here oh a couple of sticks how dare you I'm a as if, as if uh, basically offended me. How on earth do you think you're going to get away with that? Alright. Oh, hello. Actually, it looks a lot better than I thought. <laughs> There's only some wood, to be honest. But I will take the... I will take the bread. That would be quite a cool series idea to not have to break or not have to be allowed to break a single block. Everything you get must be obtained through looting or something. I won't do it for this one because you've already kind of broken the rule, but oh my god, look at all this lovely bread and the tool we were missing. Oh my god, they can have the fence. I'd like a couple more blocks furnaces actually. That would be very useful for iron. The only thing we're missing is boots. Um, what have you been in there? Is 
is there much point? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Let's give them the beds. We don't need those, do we? We've already got one bed. That's pretty much all we need. I was kind of thinking, like, if we take on the Ender Dragon, but it's hardly of great importance, is it? I'll have that as well, actually. If you don't mind. Let's, I guess we'll just try and make our way to open ocean, that's a bit 
on foot, guys. That is so frustrating. That is so frustrating. It feels like a real limitation. Um, Alright, well, how about this then? Let's get rid of some stuff. Um, so, Coco Beats, I'd like to keep the iron nuggets. You know what? We can sort this out a little bit, I think. Um, let's go. Well, sweet berry bushes, we don't need. Let's get rid of things we definitely need. Like 
state here in the UK. So this video will be coming out to you tomorrow, no doubt. And by tomorrow I mean today for you, if you're watching this the day it comes out.
they still coming through? Surely not. Oh no, they lost me. Okay. Time to find a man grove swamp. Please. <laughs> no. It's another. It's another. What do they call it? Spruce biome. God damn it. No, my luck, we've somehow managed to end up at the same one. <laughs> same uh, village we were at ages ago. I'm going to get off the boat and go on foot, I think. I don't like the weather. That is kind of scaring me. I'll be honest. sword which will protect us. A golden mending sword. I could, if I could be bothered, go on to one of those biome finder things. I tell you what, let's do that. If I can't find a mangrove swamp on my own, by the end of this video we will Yes, by some evils and measure cheat. There's some very shady looking walls. <laughs> um, that was absolutely lame. <laughs> but we will, you know, I wouldn't call it cheating, but some people might. So we'll, we'll, we'll kind of meet midway and, uh, and we'll use a biome finder.
sure there'll be plenty of coal and copper over there, but in all honesty, we haven't got space for more copper. Okay. Look at the size of this area here. My god. Oh, it's kind of close. I need to remember I don't have feather falling. This is not ASMR craft. This is a brand new hardcore world. Do not get distracted. Do not get complacent. I've died on ASMR craft more times than I care to admit. And I can't be doing that here. Which is why I am so cautious. Oh, for God's sake, come back here, let me kill you. Why are you being like that? That's why I'm so careful when it comes to digging on the bosses. Like, uh, Wither or Ender Dragon. Now, from what I've seen, the, the um, Warden is, like, ridiculously strong. I'm pretty sure he can one-shot you if you don't have armor on. And he can still do shot you with like full enchanted gear, so not so sure how accurate that is. I do remember seeing something where someone with full gear got crushed by him, by the warden. Um, so I don't know how we can approach it. I don't know really what there's. There must be a strategy to it. is a kind of boss, right? I mean, you compare it to like the Wither, he's stronger than that. He looks considerably stronger than uh, even like the Ender Dragon, which really, relatively speaking, is a very, there are no difficult bosses, are there, in, uh, in Minecraft, especially if you're fully kitted out, full enchanted netherite, you can pretty much just stand there. skill level can kill the end dragon or even really the wither for that matter I suppose that's kind of the whole point it was meant to be an accessible game um, but perhaps this is you know, a new challenge for people who want said a challenge um, it's kind of scary to think that you could theoretically just stumble into the deep dark saying that it's, you know, unlike the Ender Dragon, which, again, you know, in theory it is, and the, and the, uh, the way that they are, you know, they are, in essence, um, optional, you don't have to do them, you kind of do, if you want to play Minecraft, do it, uh, you know, real extent, um, oh, more stuff we can't actually take, I'll take the gold. I obviously will get an anvil eventually, but when I get an anvil, 
shall make the space for them. Goodbye. Goodbye, mutton. Let's be frank, we don't need it. Okay. We must be close. It must be over there. Oh yeah, well that's the bit that jumped out, so it's Oh, uh, well. 
existence of standard swamps, but they are so boring that I, I kind of feel like, why not? You know, well, we found a dark oak biome, um, which means, you know, if we'd been picking up all the various saplings, which we've not, um, kind of makes me feel like, why start there? Um, we have, we have seen every type of, of, of wood. Um, obviously we've come away with no saplings. We didn't have space for it, to be honest. There's a very tall spruce tree by him. Interesting. Another shipwreck. We found, we found a lot of, um, I can't even want to explore that. That looks like a right pain. Um, we found a lot of, um, random, what they call them, like randomly generated structures. Or just structures, but I don't know.
guys. Um, which we did not. 
junk finders, whatever you want to call them, for the uh, 1.19 snapshots. I wasn't sure there would be, but there are, and that is good news. So, for this seed, we are at minus 4,000 plus 3,000 roughly, and we need to go to minus 3,800, so not too far in the x direction, but we need to go to plus 5,000. So, the first task for today is to find that mangrove swamp, it's the closest one to us. And, um, well, let's get going, there's no need to, uh, there's no need to wait really. I think we, I think we're going in this direction. Uh, roughly, hang on, let me cross the river. We need to get over the river anyway, I think. And we need to go pretty much exactly in the positive z direction only. So, we're, at the moment we're going in the positive, sorry, positive z direction. That's negative, it's this direction. That's where we need to go. Okay, maybe I didn't need to cross the river. Actually, we do need to go slightly in the positive x, very slightly, so let's go around and then we'll go, go in that direction. But yes, yeah, so we could be covering 2,000 blocks as our first kind of task of the day. We don't have any slots here. I might even get rid of one of these iron swords. I don't actually need one, do I? Plus, we are going to need more leather. You can never really have enough leather, i found. But we're going to set up our starter base and I kind of get the, the impression it would be our forever base in this mangrove swamp. From what I saw, it's a big one. It's a pretty big mangrove swamp and if you guys are playing along, if you're using the same seed, if you're doing your own hardcore worlds, I know that uh, I got a couple of messages from people on Discord saying that they'd started their own hardcore world um, after I uh, started this this little series. Well, I say little series, this big series, <laughs> uh, which is really cool to see. I'm really glad that um, it's inspired you to uh, start your own one. Right, let's get to minus... I think we need to go in this direction a bit more, and then we'll, we'll go into exactly positive, uh, positive Z. A bit, it would be, as I said in the first episode, remiss of me to not mention my Minecraft server, so... I, of course, as I'm sure you're aware by now, I'm the S1 Medic, um, and I used to have my, my my own server called the S1 Medic server, and we recently changed that over the last month or so to ASMR Craft, which is open to everyone. You don't have to necessarily be uh, a big old fan of mine, <laughs> although I suppose it does help <laughs> me. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, a Minecraft server open to absolutely everyone running on 1.18.2 at the moment. Technically speaking, it's open to bedrock as well, although we are working on that compatibility. Um, there's a bit of uh, sync issues with the versions of, of uh, bedrock and uh, Java, so bedrock players do do kind of get the uh, a bit of a rough deal when it comes to that, but generally speaking, we are open to everyone to play. Um, but yeah, if you're an ASMR fan, if you're a Minecraft fan, whatever it may be, and you want to get involved in a super, super chill community, then come on over and join us. We would be uh, absolutely delighted uh, to have you join us. We've currently got just over 200 uh, unique players on the server, which is absolutely awesome to see. And uh, we're always looking to add more people. So yeah, there's my little advert to you guys. <laughs> Okay, right, now we need to go exactly, exactly in the positive Z. There we go, that's good timing actually. But yeah, that has been a seriously, seriously fun little thing that we've done over the past two months. ASMR Crafters has just gotten a lot bigger than we expected. <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, if you've not, if you've not checked it out already, I highly recommend you check it out. In fact, just seen, wow, what timing, a announcement update from one of our admin who has just said that we are getting rid of all AFK rules. So just as we're making our way over to the mangrove swamp, we had real CPU issues on our, uh, with our old provider, our old server provider, very uh, limited CPU. support 50, maximum about 15 to 20 people online um, if they were 
using their farms. And so we had to introduce all these AFK rules where you don't, no one is allowed to AFK in peak times. And you know, people understood, but it's frustrating, and we understand that. So we we, we tried to work around it a lot. And eventually, we just thought, okay, we're gonna have to completely change provider, update to a much much upgrade to a much better um, server. And we did that successfully over the course of a day or so. And uh, so yeah, big shout out to Goose who pretty much uh, single-handedly sorted all, sorted all that out. Our tech admin um, and everything else, I suppose. Um, and yeah, it's it's going absolutely brilliantly. We now have constantly 20 TPS, the highest really that you can get, I believe, um, or at least that you need. I'm not really sure how it works, but I've seen. Uh, Let's, I don't even know where to begin. I didn't think we'd get 
This is huge. It looks like it's actually attached to a jungle biome, which is even cooler, if you ask me. Yeah, wow. That's a bee not having too good of a time there. He's a bit confused. Is he stuck? Do that. 
so uh, I think first of all maybe I'll just put some chests down makes me feel nervous. Right, let's get rid of all these. And actually, I think before we do anything, I'm going to go get some dirt. I think you can make mud by mixing dirt and water together, or can you only make dirt from dehydrating mud? If you can do it one way, I don't see why you can't do it the other. I'm saying that is because I was just saying um, I'd quite like to extend the mangrove swamp and we might need mud for that. You might have to put this proper gill on mud. Not sure about that. I think I'm going to have to look it up. Can I see? I think I can see another frog over there. I'll have to check that. That might make a bucket now. We've got plenty of iron, so. series. 
dehydrate it. Can you make mud? Packed mud with wheat. What the hell is that? <laughs> Why? Is that a thing? Is that a thing in, in life? Um, what are they doing? One, two, three. I think you place to make dirt from the from mud you need to place it above a um, a piece of, of drip stone or drip whatever it's called um, and it would slowly dehydrate I've done it again oh nuts right we need um, an iron hoe seeds which I th think we threw away in the end didn't we? We have one, we can go gather a bit more. Um, one, two. That is actually probably a good idea to start lighting the area up as well but for now I think we're okay. I'm gonna wait for this all to, oh, we've got another one, a sneaky, a sneaky oak tree. Didn't know they could be sneaky. this all up. And then we can go get some seeds. So it might be a brighter idea to go and gather them over there uh, because it's probably easier. Did I move my boat? Where did I put my boat? most inconvenient side. Right. Let's take it around. Oh yeah, well it goes all here as well. I've got lots of coal and copper in this mountain side as well. This is pretty cool. We could do something with this for sure. We need to clean all this up. I love this overhang. That's really cool. Right. We have now, I would say now we've officially started the, uh, the series, haven't we? I'm just going to turn the music down again. I just think it's a bit too loud. Right. Let's get them. Let's get them seeds. And actually, it might take the opportunity to get some more pork. Sorry, sorry, piggies. Your time is limited. We're gonna also heal up or mend our sword a bit. Oh yeah, look at that. That is just amazing. That is amazing. I love the, uh, the split of, um, of biomes here. It's really cool. Really cool, actually. It's a, a, a rich and diverse area, that's for sure. Alright, let's get, you know, ideally we could get a stack. Let's go over there. It's probably be easier to break the, uh, the seeds. I feel like seeds drop at a higher rate these days. Maybe it's like an update thing or a hardcore thing. I kill these guys as well. And actually, if we could find some lava, we can use the water bucket to grab ourselves. <gasps> Wait, no, we can only... You know, I am a bit dumb. I should have taken that obsidian from those boxes because... Obviously, we're going to use... We're going to need to use our diamond to make the diamond pick. Which means we're not going to have enough diamonds to make our enchantment table. Which is kind of the whole point, I think. At least that's what I made it seem like. I'm going to take out my frustration on the cows. What have we got over this side? So yeah, this is the... I think this is a pretty big jungle biome by the looks of things. My god, yeah, look at the size of this thing. I may as well pick up 
these. We don't, strictly speaking, need them. Um, we already have, like, a fair amount of it. But more the merrier. Don't know what our first farm should be, because we are going to have to build some farms. It's not really my forte, but... You know, this is not ASMR craft. Which means we are going to have to build and get all of our resources on our own without just buying them from people. And do take that for granted on ASMR craft. Do you see the, the subtle uh, the subtle advertising? Gosh, you know, ASMR craft is just so fun. I'm missing it right now. ASMR craft guys, it's fun and you should play. Somehow, I don't think that's what subliminal messaging is. Okay, exactly a stack. There we go. Let's make our way back. It's always night time as well. I think we're going to be out in the darkness a little bit, and I do want this coal. We're risking it. We're risking it a little bit right now. Probably not advised. In fact, I'm already scared, so we're going. <laughs> we're leaving. Goodbye.
just experiment. I think. Do you move slower? Oh, you can't. You can't really turn. Oh yeah. That's weird. It's kind of cool though. I like that. It means that you can't really move from side to side very easily. a bunch of these mangroves things yeah it's really hard to run over them so I'm not going to make the floor out of that just for the sake of uh, sanity so I don't know if they're actually associated with the vines but they seem like they are look like any of these have grown on the uh, on the dirt I think they might have to be over mud so we'll use our little mud things here to experiment with that and we'll come back oh yeah that's so annoying right I'm gonna put the mud in in, in my uh, chests we can pop all of this in here actually let's get that Maybe I'll do, I'll do that later. Um, for now, this can all just go along the waterfront. It looks terrible, but I don't have um, the patience to be setting it up anywhere else. so tall why did it grow so tall look at the size of those roots i love that it's got over the bed that is so so cool it's actually kind of a shame that we're going to move what i might do is i'm going to put two of these mangrove propagules either side here now i might even make them a bit higher up i don't know exactly the physics Thank you. 
should keep the water. And then I will remove the border if I don't like it. I love the sound of it. Okay, I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. I can't tell if I actually am or if I'm just sniffling a bit from like allergies. I don't really have proper allergies but Okay, we're going to need quite a bit of dirt because 
carrots, we want to plant potatoes. That's it, I think. Obviously those coca beans we don't really need to think about uh, sorting out now because we have a well, we have a whole jungle biome, a massive jungle biome which is full of uh, jungle. <laughs> so <laughs> that's not exactly a top priority now. Okay, cool. That should do us. Yeah, that'll do. Let's make our wave back over. We need to set up a series of bridges or rope bridges type of stuff. What on earth was that? Did you see how fast we came out of the water there? It's like through the mud. Oh no, we just double jumped. <laughs> See, there are much more efficient ways to do this, but I want it to kind of look nice. I want to make the place look natural. I don't really want to, I don't like industrializing too much as, a, uh, as an aesthetic. Here we go again, but um, on ASMR craft, the place to be, clearly. I'm just going to smooth this out a little bit so it looks a bit less. So those ones are all going to turn back to coarse dirt or whatever. Okay. Um, well, let's get planting. We'll put potatoes on. We'll put potatoes on this side. I want the nice bright carrots nearest to us.
high quantity like it is here. Yeah, okay, that will hopefully, the, the grass will spread over that now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's get the carrots down over here. If I get any bone meal, I'll remember to come back over here and use it all on the, uh, on the carrots. Take the opportunity to pick up all this coal. Thank you. 
I did not know that. Is that, has that always been a mechanism? I swear that is not like a standard Mycroft mechanism. How did I not know that? In fact, I'm going to plant these again on the bit on the inside. Look at this, it's basically a, uh, an ink farm. Can you plant it on mud? You can. Not that I'm going to, but good to know. Okay, let's go get some
high standards. If you want to see cool, go on to ASMR Craft. It's getting lame now, isn't it? So it's getting beggy. Right, I don't want it to be not visible from the outside, so I want to go on three is going to be the standard height. And then we'll have one or two here and there.
actually you know what i'll come back well, i'm not going to be there's going to be absolutely no del delay for you guys at all uh, but i am going to be doing these in in, in sort of bursts because uh, they obviously take a long time to do and uh, sitting down for two three hours uh, recording is uh, is a long time not a particularly long time to play minecraft granted in one sitting that's uh, pretty pedestrian by by, uh, by well even my standards um, but when you're uh, recording uh, it is quite long so I'm going to do these kind of in, in bursts um, or in, in, in like a certain amount of certain lengths of sittings um, cobblestone probably not the most beautiful block I could have used to do that with uh, but it will do for now um, I'm not sure I like this idea with the sugar cane um, but anyway i'll come back to that in a second um, there's gonna be no delay for you but i'm off for a bit goodbye okay so i'm back and um it's actually about three or four days or five in the real world uh, since i've been here um i've not got my face cam on because uh I 
always go quicker than you might think. So I'm going to go ahead and make some mangrove planks. Not sure if these are going to look good. Mangrove fences. 21 of them. Okay. We're going to need more than that, I imagine. Look at this. 
please tell me they're going to disappear. Are they disappearing? I don't think they are. Oh, there's even more wood over here. Oh, there, this is another tree. Oh, I have a mug. I'm going to have to sort this out at some point. for now so we've got some, some space to put another one down that actually could be a way of getting around it i might just plant a couple more proper girls to be honest and let them blend in with each other
register. Oh wow, we are. We have a full inventory. Should I go and clear this so that I can actually collect the stone properly? Bloody hell, this really is a, a dangerous place for squids.
still all about relaxation and ASMR and all that, so, you know, I do quite like this, this, this idea of you being here for every single step of the way type thing, so, uh, maybe your suggestion would be to, to show less of the, I don't know, what you call it, boring stuff, uh, personally I'd call it the, the relaxing stuff. Uh, but, you know, obviously because of that, by, by nature, the fact that I'm 
posture is is key, especially when at the computer all day. You need to have good posture. Well, we've actually found some iron as well, which is nice. And something I have noticed is my neighbours are being very noisy, which may mean that I need to just stop and start.
supposed to sort of strategically spawn. I might take that gold actually. For when we go to the nether. Always useful.
so uh, that's the thing I, I I don't think it's uh it's not good to call yourself stupid never call yourself stupid dopey maybe maybe I'm dopey <laughs> probably not much better of a descriptive right put one of those there Thank <laughs> you. 
close that. Maybe that's 
obsidian. So 
there's no one to find yet because obviously it only just came out the other day. Um, doesn't look that optimised. I really am looking forward to getting Optifine. Um, that's going to be a bit of a game changer for the, uh, for the series, I think. Um, obviously, shaders and all that, but mostly just so we have nice FPS. Uh, it's okay for now, but it's not too big of an issue, obviously. It only comes out in 60 FPS anyway, but So, uh, now the main thing, um, now is to go and get some lava, so let's actually make, let's make a diamond pickaxe, I'm just going to stick with the diamond pickaxe for now, that's all I'm going to get, um, because that's, oh, actually we need our buckets as well.
lava there. Oh, and obviously there's obsidian. I didn't even think about that because I'm an absolute dope. I love that I said don't call yourself stupid. I've proceeded to call myself stupid like several times now. Oh, perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Oh, I think it's as it burns down. leaves now, I didn't know that was a thing.
obsidian um, for a portal. Pretty sure we do. And we're going to need. Ooh, we're all out. That's not ideal. Okay, I'm scared. Save. 
as in it requires me physically to have level 30. I think that's what it means. Efficiency 2. I'll, I'll take that for now. I'll break you on. That's good. I may even just enchant my other things while I'm at it. Yeah, okay. Wait.
just don't want that many roots. I mean, they look cool. The actual mangrove tree or whatever. Is it? I don't know if it is a tree. The mangrove thing. It looks cool. But. I don't know. I don't know if you know what I mean. Maybe I actually would prefer that. 
and then I'm going to fill in all these gaps.
myself killed while I'm uh, building it. So I don't want it to be mega mega complicated. Um, I did say actually that I would sort out the floor of this thing, which obviously hasn't been completed yet, but um, maybe we can just do a little bit more kind of design. I guess I could get some more Maybe that's a tad better. Reminder that I'm not a particularly good builder. Um, oh, that was another one of my objectives. I've got two main objectives that I want to get completed, you know, just in this order. Lots and lots 
I also really want fortune and silk touch because I'm wasting so much coal making all of this, uh, all of this stone. So that is why I want to go for that. And then the next task after that is to create some really nice looking wall. Um, yeah, and the walls can, you know, be designed to look really good and it gives a nice enclosure.
these ceilings might be a bit low. Okay, the reason I'm doing this, I've not actually properly explained it, have I? The reason I'm doing it like this is because um, there is a reason. I promise I'll get to it in a second. I just don't want to hurt myself. Um, the, the reason I'm doing this is because I want the mob farm to be right at the top. I want it to look kind of imposing. It might not look good, um, but we can deal with that. Usually the way I like to do it, or at least the ambition, is to have my... Um, there's a fly. Um, is to have the uh, mob farm look like a tree. So I always find usually the way to disguise it the best is to make it look like a big tree um, and also the higher you go um, actually maybe maybe not let me just cut off the top of this i'm not even sure why i'm doing this but i've started now um maybe we won't do it right to the top because we do want to be able to go and do stuff around it and if we go too far away i don't think they will spawn I'm not sure about certainly there. I guess we could make it in here. This is kind of a cool little place. We could make it in here. We could build it right in the centre or something. Again, it might be a bit too far away though. I'm never going to grab all the coal from around here though. It's super cool that there's this, I don't even really know what you call it, like, like, a, like an alcove. Is it night time already? Is the sun already going down? Gosh, alright, fine. Fine, son. If you have to be that way. Uh, let me cut out all of these. Make it one more headroom space. There's a lot of gaps there, but I don't see much point in sorting all out now. This is why we don't like gravel. Gravel is the enemy of the people. Cook up some of this beef. Could do 
as you saw, that's our first official ASMR craft advert. I thought it might be kind of cool. Why do I keep going this way? It might be quite cool to make our own advert, you know, if ever the time comes where we're successful enough that we're actually going to be advertising. Uh, definitely not anytime soon, but you know, in theory. Um, then, you know, it's good to, good to start getting the word out in a more official capacity.
cards to use, note blocks and music as part of his uh, entrance to his little house in his Minecraft world. So I'll put a little pressure plate somewhere and we'll use that as a, uh, you know, a kind of nice, calm, interesting entrance. Like a, like a, more like a doorbell, I suppose. And we'll do that eventually. So I just, that's why I noted that down. It's not something we're going to do soon because I'm pretty sure that um, note blocks, is that what they're called? Note blocks. I'm pretty sure they need a diamond. So, um, yeah, we haven't got anywhere near enough diamonds to uh, spare, which brings us back to our same point, doesn't it? Which means that we need fortune on a pickaxe. We need plenty of diamonds from that. And the only way to do that is to have some form of XP farm. I was thinking I could just keep mining with the hope of eventually finding a um, a mob spawner. But then I thought the chances of actually finding one are going to be really low, which means we're going to have another episode of just tons and tons of mining. I know you guys don't mind it because I suppose it's that kind of slow, you know, somewhat mind numbing uh, content which allows you to just kind of zone out and fall asleep or carry on doing, doing your work and stuff. But uh, I do think it's important that we have at least some traditionally uh, entertaining aspects to the save. soon but this will do just for now decent temporary lighting and on today um 33 day 33 welcome to day 33 we'll leave that there actually well what is the point i always say that but we don't need a respawn point do we <laughs> because if we die See the point in 
So shall we make it right in the centre? Maybe... Does that look roughly the centre? say so. I think I might actually make a 4x4 four four platform, which will give us some space to maneuver around it, and then we will create a small cobblestone bridge again, all temporary. Don't think that it just looks terrible. I know it does, but it is, as I said, sake more than, uh, sorry, for durability's sake more than anything. Oh, it's not quite going to make it. Okay, let's, maybe we'll turn again. Maybe we'll turn here. Again, doesn't matter because it makes it nice and pretty. Yeah, or, or 
close that. It's fine. Let's go down like that. Okay, fine. We'll go all the way down here. Yeah, that will do. Looking good. Looking good. Not sure we're going to have enough stairs to do this. Might have to go make a few more. So do you guys. You guys seem to like it as well. Right, let me go sleep. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Damn. <laughs> Stupid anyway. Good job, day 34. Welcome to day 34. Just confirming. So let's crack on, shall we? Let's make our way back home and pick up. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Goes all the way up and over the mountain. I started watching, speaking of mountains, I started watching Lord of the Rings last time. The f for the first time. For the first time I bought the box set from like a, uh, I got all three as part of a, uh, um, this cost me two pounds to get all three. Actually, let me, let me grab it. Me and my girlfriend, we love going to, uh, to like, car boot sales. And uh, I found this a couple of months ago. Um, and I thought, I think it was two pounds for the whole thing. I don't, I don't know if it's actually, like, a particularly good set or anything. It's probably, like, a really old one. Uh, it's not, you know, uh, Ultra HD or whatever. I started watching the first one uh, last night, um, but I started at, like started watching it at midnight, so I only got about halfway through before, not even like half an hour through, um, before I was like too tired to continue. Whoa, hello guys. Um, so I will update you. <laughs> I will update you, although I am really enjoying it already. God, look at the vines. They are getting pretty overgrown, aren't they? Wow, wow, wow. Okay. The stones. Let's take, let's take literally all our stone. Stone. Deep slate as well. Uh, granite. Why not? Cow, you're being annoying. Stone. Dirt. Yeah, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. About 19 or 20 actually with all the other bits as well. Um, 
so actually we always have enough oh iron we need iron um, actually this had a list of what we needed so let me quickly check that we need a bed yeah 25 stacks of blocks basically a stack of stuff they're not really too much 
guys as well. Perfect. Perfect. Eight by eight. And the saplings I will plant kind of randomly because I don't want to create those ugly, uh, well not necessarily ugly, but annoying to cut down ones. I just want the, the three and four, five tall oak, oak trees. If the game doesn't mind, I know that, you know, it does generally mind. It always seems to give me the really bad ones. That will do nine. 
nicely, I'm also going to use, you know what, let's be fancy and use stone slabs. Because we're, we're fancy chaps. Ah, we need, ah there we have them, okay cool. See, this is why I did this. I am, I am actually that clever. Yeah, and then each of these goes in there. And then I think the slabs just go on top, uh, like so. And that is our landing platform. That is the landing platform for all of those unlucky mobs that are going to become our food. I just remember. I said I would enchant my gear, didn't I? But we're not going to. Do I also make a little gate entrance here? Yes. Oh, I did it there. <laughs> I was thinking, how the hell did it get there? Rightio. Okay. Well, we're all out of... Uh, that was... That was dumb. Why did I do that for? Okay, now I really am out. <laughs> now I really am out. Uh, oh, I could make... This is gonna look bad, but... Wrong way round, as per usual. Okay, it's gonna look... It's gonna look terrible. But we're already so, so far deep in things looking terrible that does it really... Does it really matter? Yeah, 
are pretty good, I would say. I might even just put a few like this. Ooh. Oh, it's it's uneven. <laughs> or it's even, I suppose, actually. How do we do this?
seem to help very much, did it? But in theory, it helps. <laughs> so, but honestly, I am actually happy with that decision because a combination of Feather Falling 2 plus the water around this, if we fall from 20, 22 blocks up, I think we've got a much better chance of surviving now. So, um, anyway, enough rambling. Two. Okay. 
sure if you fall on any type of water. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you fall on flowing water, you also don't take damage, right?
if it's people doing, you know, if their job <laughs> involves them <laughs> talking to each other, it's unreasonable, really unreasonable for me to think, like, why are you guys being so loud? Can't you just stop making so much noise? Um, so, yeah, that's, I try to, I try to remember that the world does not revolve around me. <laughs> These guys are actually doing a job, especially when we were like, you know, cleaning the street or, you know, picking up the bins, like really essential work for the world, for the betterment of community and stuff. So for me to be like, don't you realise I'm trying to make an ASMR video? It's a bit, yeah. I kind of lost a bit of, uh, uh, I didn't do much reflection back then.
the other end <laughs> into the the depths below. In fact, on this side as well. That's true. I also can't fall down this side. I always forget to ask people to like and subscribe but now we're towards the end of the episode that is like absolutely essential to ask I've always found that like maybe just me well it definitely isn't but I've never liked and subscribed because somebody well actually no not true I have liked based on someone asking because I do forget to do that so that would be good but subscribing I've never subscribed because somebody convinced me to by asking me to do it um, that's always just been like if I enjoy the content I subscribe um, I feel like I'm probably even less likely to subscribe if somebody remind me there's an option because I would kind of feel like oh, obviously obviously I can subscribe but I don't know maybe that's just me being stubborn okay Ooh, posture check posture check I got into a real horrible posture there it's like proper crunched over um fine so we've done that bit now and now we to make a too high well, a too high wall around the outside of this I'll do one just so that it secures me from falling off and then we'll go around and we'll increase it by one see look we're really we're burning through our blocks aren't we
I guess we'll stick with one layer for now because we just want to get a bit of XP but because obviously the more layers you put into these things the more efficient they become just obviously so I don't know whether whether it's worth I mean would it be so slow that it's not even worth it at that point maybe we do need to make two or three of these layers in which case we're going to need like way 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 more blocks um, which I suppose we can get fairly easily maybe we'll just go on a mining trip underground I'm looking at my diamond pick and it's just by doing this it's it's not looking good I could have kept that diamond to fix it actually such such a waste of time 
because I can't imagine not AFK. Well, maybe I will. Maybe that's a good time to use the, the night time, actually. So we don't waste loads of the day. Yeah, I mean, there's way too many spots. Let's put these down. Could literally go on forever, it feels like. Um, Alright, fine. Ouch. Actually, that seemed like it probably didn't take as much damage as it would have. If it weren't for our wonderful feather falling. I just did not approach it in the right way. I 
opinion, is may, way more, way more conducive of proper ASMR. Um, of course, I always appreciate your comments and feedback, so let me know what you guys think. How many we got there? 31, that's fine.
that's a stroke of luck. I didn't know it would work like that. Oh no, but that's... No, that's not going to work. <laughs> How have I done that? I must have miscalculated somewhere along the line. Well, obviously I did. It didn't just happen. It didn't just materialise out of the air, did it? I guess I will just have to block that up like that or something. And just take the very small amount of... Yeah, alright, well, whatever. That's annoying, slightly. What a dingus. Alright, well, we live and we learn. I'll make the next one. Oh god, it's night time. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. Let's get to sleep. <gasps> Are there any mobs? Close the doors, oh my god, I don't like this. One bit. Welcome to day 41. I need to remember to, to do that more because editing the last video was a bit of a pain. I could probably actually remove this now. in case I fell down whilst I was building it. If you haven't watched the previous episodes, I would highly recommend it. Um, if not, you can wait another maybe month or so whilst I release these videos, uh, because eventually I plan on um, editing up all of the episodes into Yeah, we're going to lose a mild amount of efficiency. I mean, well, maybe we won't lose any, to be, to be honest. They are going to, it is going to be quite inefficient because there's nothing really driving the, the mobs off the edge, uh, which is, you know, a bit annoying, but um, I wanted a really quick build. Maybe I'll make a more efficient um, mob farm in the future. In fact, I can almost guarantee that 
Okay, so how are we going to do this? I'm going to be going down. No, I'm going to be going down one of these ones, aren't I? Yeah, I'm going to jump down there, so let's get rid of the far ones first. Start collecting more cobble 
Wolfenstein. Whilst keeping an eye on that. Oh god, I can't. <laughs> I would love it if, if it really is this inefficient. I actually, I made a, a mob farm in my own personal hardcore world on like 1.17. And that was actually fairly efficient. And so... I'd be disappointed if this, you know, bore absolutely no fruit. By the way, we do need cobblestone. Maybe I could start devising a bit of a storage area and I could do it around here. Everything could centre. This could be the centre of everything. Because we're going to need to be near it anyway, so I could build a couple of, you know, my base of sorts. Yeah. 
involved like naming things after you but obviously I'd need to get the name tags um, if you're fairly new to, the, to my channel you might not know this but I actually oh yeah look at this I think it 
can be yeah, the cows from here, but I don't think my mind's playing tricks on me. Yeah, so here's the here's the kicker, really. Um, oh no, we have an iron. Let me go kill that before it despawns. Um, now we do actually have an iron pickaxe, don't we? Because we put it in the tools now. I am gonna have to go mining because we have we've pretty much run out of essential stuff. Actually, what, why would I do it like that? Maybe I should just go down to diamond and try and get diamond. Would that not just be a slightly smarter idea? The problem with that is... Is that it's deep slate, so it's really slow. And also generally... Yeah, we found the amethyst. 
grab some more levels and in fact how about I uh, I put all this in here for now stuff I will invariably forget is there da -da 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 -da. I should have put this back upstairs shouldn't I Is this and we will start making another level although it's almost night time already I can see the stars appearing in front of us I've just realized actually I was looking at the wrong I was looking at the wrong thing iron actually is best at level 16 bad and you can actually get very large veins down in the deep slate bit so I should I should have thought about that this looks awful I mean the whole thing looks awful but okay let's It's going to take way less time adding each layer because all I need to do is this. Right. That makes sense. That is such a weird little floating thing. Blocks. One 
once they've floated down. At least that makes sense in my head. see how that has affected the the spawn rates would be okay we've got we've got a couple a couple of guys here we don't want them to see us do we
shade and, and it's sort of fertile ground for mobs to spawn. As I'm sure you're all very, very aware.
from side to side and I'm not gonna fiddle about with um, doing next layers and whatever because honestly what's the point okay so how much does it take it takes literally one stack
this matching overall I think maybe it would be cool to do a kind of tree design to cover this thing up can also replace the stone uh, stem like the tube that they fall down um, you can obviously just replace that with wood to make it you know the tree trunk I was thinking rather than because I did something quite similar for the realm of ASMR when I was playing on that <coughs> I think that has officially that's officially like a done thing now um, I was considering I think I may let you know let my place go to somebody else if they want it because uh, I know there's a limited amount of space on there because I mean ASMR craft does take up so much of my time now that I cannot imagine I cannot imagine that I'd be able to return to really anything uh, resembling a schedule with uh, the realm of ASMR but I don't think people are too bothered really they just like me playing Minecraft rather than any particular um, world although actually I definitely get ASMR craft requests I've never really had a realm of ASMR request so that's another reason to to make that decision but I don't think it's that deep really realm of ASMR was so much fun though for the first you know sort of you know, five to six months of playing that really good fun which is why I want um, ASMR craft because of just how much I, I love the concept of just having a big kind of ASMR Minecraft community world. I absolutely love the interaction it brings between all of us. It's seriously, seriously fun. Okay, right, so that's the next layer. And then...
also want to fill in that central tube which is meaning which means that every you know i would say one out of every five mobs ends up just dying before we can even kill it so yeah i'm going to uh, make a whole bunch of uh, tree farms around the outside here um that's the main idea i definitely need a storage area but i want to get some mangrove stuff uh, growing so i'm going to get a whole bunch of mangrove trees growing maybe on this side i don't know maybe i'll do it in the middle actually i might do it in the center here so that we're even closer to this thing um but that's the idea at least for the first half of this um of this episode yeah it's a bit of a strange one because i don't want to it's it's hard because i need to get to level 30 that's the main thing i really do need to get to level 30. Um, i might go grab a bunch of propagules from these mangrove trees now um not sure if i have any already but um now oh, we have 10 that's pretty good uh, maybe i'll go grab a just a few more i see some propagules give me your propagules that one disappeared i don't know where that went disappeared into thin air i saw one up here as well thank you maybe we'll get 15 so we'll get a few more propagules because i really want to build with the new mangrove and uh yeah all that sort of stuff take a while it is definitely gonna take a while to build using mangrove uh, wood and everything because it is just quite a laborious wood type of 14 that would do to work with um, but we'll get there we'll get there guys so let's plant these up i think i'm gonna need to get a bit more dirt actually
stupid question. Can I expect the answer is yes? Can I use this bone mill? Go on, tell me I can. Yes, I can. Whoa, that's a nice one. That's a really cool one. Well, this grow has not got much light above it. Yep. Yes, indeed. I kind of tempted just to see what it looks like if I fill this space with mangrove. He doesn't want to grow. He hasn't got enough light. And we're all out. How's that looking though? Actually, this could be quite a cool idea. Fill it with mangrove trees. Look at this. That is so cool. so quickly somewhere else for you, don't worry. Wow, look at this. This is so cool. I expect it's going to be a bit mob spawny, so we're going to have to be careful. And I'm going to have to get rid of some of these vines because they are unbelievably annoying. We're already up to level 21. Skeletons, we need skeletons, come on. Where are the skeletons at? Um, let's actually start. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab some of these propagules. Down here can be purely um, whoa, 
just have a zombie villager, that's pretty cool. I'm tempted to keep him, but another time I think. Um, oh, we could actually do a villager thing, couldn't we, for sure. That is actually a really, really good idea, so we're going to have to go search for a village at some point. I'm just going to get rid of these vines. Because they are just literally so annoying. Literally. Just, like, so annoying. Okay. What? What is with the lack of skeletons? Seriously. Potato, wow. That's a lucky drop. It's fine. 
things out. Out of interest. No, no, it doesn't work then. Let's see now. I 
saying guys level 25 oh look at all these wonderful items look at that we've, only, oh, we've got over a stack of gunpowder wow we look at that over a stack of bone meal beautiful so i'm gonna do i've got to kill these guys i've got to i can't help myself oh another one if, if i must okay we're good um might leave those proper kills there uh, i'll just take one and then that will turn into more when we do some farming upstairs oh i can't leave them i can't leave them free mob kills like not 
if there was to be that high up because it might be caves underneath us and stuff. Level 27, look at that. Oh my gosh. More bones. Yes, indeed. Hell yeah. I'm making sure because we've got another bow there, which is good.
a stone sword as well. But there, I would say there's about... Well, actually, this is a very, very tall one. What on earth? That is so strange. Okay, well, I'm back. You probably have noticed some differences here. I decided I made the executive decision to cut it a little bit because I was just cutting down so many mangroves and it was getting so boring. Um, I had, I, I can ramble on, you know, and you know what I'm like, guys, I can ramble endlessly for days. But I got to the point where I was literally just saying anything that was coming into my head, which I know you guys have told me you, you like that kind of thing. I thought I'd spare some of you this time. Um, I hope you understand why I've done that. <laughs> I think it's fine. You've only missed. I, I basically stayed awake for an entire night. I did a bit of AFK. I think, you know, AFK at night, that would probably be the way to go. Um, and so, yeah, I've got a whole bunch of mangrove stuff. I got basically two whole stacks of mangrove logs, which I've made a bunch of planks with um, and now I'm just decorating so uh, look at all these roots guys I mean we literally have roots for days um, but I don't think I've even got enough room for all of them but they're really good decorative blocks I've decided um, it makes it look, look like the this is a huge mangrove tree which is what this is going to turn into as you can see I'm going to go all the way up to the top um, after I get some scaffolding don't even need a sword for this, I've discovered. I'm also almost level 31. I mean, guys, it does not get better. It does not get better. We are absolutely on a roll. It's almost night time. Should have said that it's also day 56, so you've not missed too much. I put, I, I decided to use two pieces of string because that was getting a bit annoying. Um, but guys, you know, we're on the way up. We really are. We are on the way up. And, um, on that note, just before we go to bed, before day 57, I think it's a good idea. Oh god. Let's light all this up. I've been lighting everything up as well, up on the top of the mountain. Um, I think it's a good idea to... Uh, an enchantment so let's enchant um, let's do a level 30 enchantment on a brand new diamond pickaxe now i already have a fortune one pickaxe which means um, i would definitely take a fortune three if that's available but if not um oops then at least we have the backup. So let's make the pickaxe to begin with. That's a good starting point. There we go. Get our lapis out. And let's see what we're going to get. Ooh, I'm breaking three. Not too bad. Um, not exactly essential because we could put these together for an efficiency four. Although that would use so many levels. I th I'm quite tempted to just use one level. Efficiency one could do that, and then try again. Uh, let's do it. Oh yes. Okay, then we can put those together. Get unbreaking to. Um, well, for now, I'll just use that as my fast pick underground, and we can kind of. What do we need to combine? Oh, an anvil. We also need a, a grindstone. That's kind of essential. We can make those things now, actually. Uh, we've not got enough iron for an anvil. I know that for certain. We've got loads of copper, but no iron. So I think a mining session is probably due fairly soon.
because I might grind. I can't decide. Maybe I'll grind this, and you could comp you could combine them. I don't know. Um, might just be worth going mining again. Decisions, decisions, decisions. The fact this doesn't have unbreaking is a bit of a shame.
so um, you know let me know this is probably going to be a, a fairly short video compared to my other ones still going to be a long one but then i was thinking maybe maybe we do test out some slightly shorter videos um you know let me know what you think about this this one did you prefer it being a bit shorter let me know because i could do some kind of um commentating type stuff where i'll just record a bunch of it and then commentate over um but we are on we are on day 58 it's night time so i think i'll take the opportunity of the night to go down into the mines and do some mining because we are at level 32 now so we're at the point where we're just we're gaining levels fairly quickly obviously we have this wonderful efficiency uh for pickaxe actually before we do that let me quickly bloody hell it's dark oh my god it's dark there i'm gonna go into my chests look at this doesn't this look beautiful guys all over the place just how i like it just how i like it i'm gonna put gravel here as well uh we'll put andesite and whatever in there i don't know we'll organize this at some point la, 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 la. mangrove stuff can all go here i am loving it guys i am absolutely loving it let's put miscellaneous things here dirt and uh, flint well we could throw that away we always throw flint away um, I am gonna need a few sticks we've got so much mangrove that I'm now now I'm using it to make sticks look at me how times have changed just for the sake of security, bring a bow with me. Nice. I'm going to have to get more string. Just prevent myself from weaving in and out of that nonsense. Alright, there's none in there. Fine. And let's get going. I mean, this doesn't look great. In fact, actually, it's just a bit inconvenient. Um, what about there? And let's head on, head on down to the uh, for the final kind of 15 20 minutes of the video i expect um, and we've got our fortune one pickaxe i'd be happy just to get a couple of diamonds you know enough to make another diamond pickaxe and then we can kind of combine things and whatever um, but i just want to, s to get towards you know the absolute of diamond gear then I would entertain going into the nether and that might be what we do in the next uh, video next episode whatever you want to call it actually let's go this way let's go a different direction maximize our chances of getting diamonds come to me come to me my pretty pretty diamonds oh okay let's get the fortune out Lapis. Look at that. Look at that. I know that's not entirely the uh, the cause of fortune because they, you do get quite a lot of lapis anyway, but by and large, you know what? I think this deep slope would go quite well as a uh, as part of the color palette with uh, with mangrove wood or planks, whatever. A 
side project. I think we're fairly secure. I could make a wall around the outside of the mountain. I would quite like a wall. What to make it out of though? Not sure. We could make it out of mud blocks, like the actual mud bricks. That could be quite a cool, quite a cool thing to make it out of. We are getting nowhere near as lucky as we were with diamonds as the uh, last video. Let's just go one, two, three, and we'll make our way back. Now on this side we need to go there. We've had gold and redstone and lapis but no diamonds yet unfortunately. My precious. Yeah, I'm all about Lord of the Rings now. Actually, we're going to get a fair amount of levels just doing this. It looks like I don't think you get much coal at this level. It's a bit annoying because it doesn't seem to be a, a, a good level for finding everything that you need because I'd like to find iron. You know, we could make an iron farm. At least that's what I've noticed on uh, ASMR craft. We would need villagers, so we would need to find a village and then transport a couple back with us. This, we've got tons and tons of stuff that we can do. And we have plenty of time to do it in. So I hope you guys are excited. This, I feel like, could be quite a long-term save. It's the first time that I've started one of these things right at the start of a new update so I you know there's not 1.20 is not exactly around the corner I don't think so we've got many many months and who knows maybe we won't even um, maybe who knows maybe we won't even uh, want to update to 1.20 sometimes I think you can actually update still survives through the update but I know it can be a bit janky. Wow have we really not got a single diamond yet? Watch us find like a one diamond and then the fortune doesn't do anything to it. I think we're getting exceptionally unlucky now. We, had, we used all of our luck in that short diamond spree at the, uh, in, in the last video. And now all our luck is up. say in 10 seconds one two three four five six seven eight nine nine and a half nine and three quarters ten wow seriously is the worst luck I've had in a long time. I, I find that actually it could be better to like cut through using our to do this because I will need a gravel at some point anyway. This can sometimes be a good idea because it's easier to get to cut through. To mine, should I say? <laughs> Probably a better way of putting it. And it exposes quite a lot. Nah, forget it. We're getting done over here in this one. At least we have efficiency four. That's the only saving grades. We will need to start a sheep farm at some point because I will want to go netherite hunting using beds. Um, I guess I could use TNT because we do have quite a lot of gunpowder now which is a nice little byproduct of the mob, mob spawner. That mob spawner has turned out to be far more useful than I'd kind of anticipated actually. I didn't think it would be, I wouldn't say it's like super super good but it's um it's certainly a good start. See now if we get rid of these, hopefully around the edges, we'll 
to say we, we are going to find a diamond doing this. This time we're going to find a diamond. I just checked and it is day 59 now. Oh, there's some gold. We're finding everything other than diamonds.
necessary, but that is good enough. I probably would prefer Smite or something, but um, I might just use this on its own, and when it gets to half, I'll come up and combine them. Um, let's put those two in there. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Got a fortune, got an up. I mean, we're getting there, aren't we? We are getting there slowly, but surely. We're getting there, guys. So, it's day 60. I think um, I might get myself back to level 30. I don't know, let me know. If you're, if you're at the end of this video, you're still awake, you're still watching, um, let me know kind of what you would, uh, what you would prefer. You know, what would you prefer? Um, long videos, short videos with commentary, up to you guys. Let me know. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye-bye. Welcome to day 16. And we're starting off by adding a little texture to the flooring and the surrounding base area of our little pit. Now, I think I've shown you my technique for this many, many times already, but you're getting another sneak peek using all sorts of different texturing materials such as cobblestone. So 
and then kind of update you on where I am later on. 
storage area. This is a very general and I have to admit it's already quite a cluttered storage area. But that being said, it does the job. We've actually got a couple of empty chests here. Four empty chests that I don't know what to fill with as of yet. Five even. Uh, but as we go, I'm sure we will fill them up. Um, here is going to be something, not sure what. I'm going to need lots of string to fix all these bloody vines. Uh, maybe I'll make a room over here. I could maybe move my enchantment area down here, to be honest, because I have to say, I don't really like it being where it is at the moment. This produces a lot of creepers, and that is absolutely fantastic. Um, maybe I will keep my enchantment area over here. Oh, we still need to get to the nether, and I might actually do that now. I'm just going to poke my head in, or whatever. But we have 33 levels. I was considering doing a bit of mining now, but I probably will again do that. You know, not off camera. Actually, I guess I could grindstone this and re um, redo it. Um, or we could even... Oh, we've got... Let's do a couple of things. What could I use? I would quite like a diamond chest plate, honestly. Um, and that would be all I would get. I could maybe do with another shovel, actually. Yeah, okay, so how about that? We do a chest plate. Which is eight. Yeah.
looking very snazzy, aren't we? Very snazzy. Once again, this doesn't look nice, doesn't need to look nice. Uh, it just needs to be secure. That's all we need. Security. for 
or making a roof. And then we're going to feel super, super secure, aren't we? And the thing about security is security is cool. Security is very cool. Watch this, watch this. Yeah, we 
the start of this uh, series that is it really necessary to build such a large and essentially important mob grinder? And my answer by showing you this is yes, it is entirely needed. I named it Bowie because I'm hilarious and uh, also very, very uninspired. So I like my Bowie though.
so not sure if that's how they work. Well, guys, here we are. The day 100. Just to confirm that for you, there it is on the left hand side, you can pause and have a look.
hopefully if I do another 100 days and you guys really like the kind of more standard seven.